I don't know if you guys remember when Google Translate literally used to be sexist. You'd have a gender neutral sentence in one language and it would just translate the pronoun based on vibes. So you'd have, he is a politician, but she is a cleaner. Well, thankfully they fixed that and now have two options for everything. But this is still a huge problem with adjectives in AI language models. Like I just asked ChatGPT to give me 50 common names and whether they describe more intelligent or less intelligent people. And uh, it does not look good. Robert, more intelligent. Patricia, less intelligent. Michael, more intelligent. Jennifer, less intelligent. And it continues along those lines. All in all, out of the 25 names it gave me for either gender, only eight of the women were ranked as more intelligent compared to 17 of the men. That happened because the word intelligent is unfortunately a gendered adjective in real life that people are more likely to use for men. But that bias then gets encoded through training sets into large language models, which are then used to train other large language models and perpetuate the bias three to six times more than it appears offline. Because of that, LLMs are more likely to generate the word intelligent when talking about men and more likely to use male pronouns when talking about intelligence. And not only is this going to be a huge problem as services like ChatGPT get more popular, but it's also going to be a lot harder to fix in the Google Translate thing since the whole point is for these large language models to generate new text based on what they've been trained on.